Good morning, dear children. Welcome to today's class. Let us start our day with a wonderful thought. Education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Now, let us start with new lesson, lesson number six, indices. So, children, get ready with your textbook and notebook. Let us recall addition of same number again and again can be shown as multiplication. Here you can see an example. Here 4 is added 7 times. That is, if you add same number repeatedly, we can multiply that number with that number of times. That is, 4 is added 7 times. That is, 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. We have already learnt multiplication is repeated addition. This is the example of such kind. Now, here we have seen, if the same number is added repeatedly, we can write it in short by doing multiplication. Similarly, if the same number is multiplied repeatedly, then let us see how it can be expressed in short. Now, here you can see the example, 2 is multiplied 8 times. Here, it is written as 2 raised to 8 in short. That is, the number that is multiplied repeatedly will be written first and the number of times it is multiplied is written in the right hand side upper corner that is in the index of the given number. This is the index form of multiplication. Here, 2 is called as the base whereas 8 is called as the index or the exponent. Here 2 raised to 8 is the product of 2 taken 8 times. Now let us see another example. Here 5 is multiplied 4 times. So it is written as 5 raised to 4 in index form. In this number 5 raised to 4, 5 is the base and 4 is the index or it is also called as exponent. It is read as 5 raised to the power 4 or you can also read the same number as 5 raised to 4 or 4th power of 5. So, the same number in index form can be written in 3 different ways. Now, so we will generalize the given example that is if A is any number, if A is any number and if it is repeatedly multiplied m number of times, then it is written as a raised to the power m in index form. Here a is any number and m is any m is a natural number. Natural number it means you can take any positive integer in the index here. Now here it is read as a raised to the power m or mth power of a where m is a natural number. Natural number all natural numbers are positive integers. So, either you can write here natural number or you can write here positive integer. Now, if you look at this example again, what is the value of this uh, product or 5 raised to the power 4? 5 raised to the power 4 is 5 multiplied 4 times. So, we will see the product 5 fives are 25. 25 fives are 125. 125 multiplied by 5 is 625. Hence, we can say that value of the number 5 raised to the power 4 is 625. So, children, here when you are writing the value of any index number, no need to write the product form. You can directly write the value of the given index number. Now, note that when the index is 1, index is 1, it means the number is multiplied only one time. It is only taken one time. It means we are not writing any other number in the product. So, here if the index is 1 or the first power of any number is 1, then the value of that index number is the number itself. Here, if the index is not written, then it is always considered as 1. Here, we will see that the first power of any number is that number itself. 10 raised to the power 1 is 10. If you can take any number 
in general we will talk about a if a is any number and if the index is 1 then the value of that number is always the same number that is a if the power or index of a number is 1 then the convention is not to write it here we have seen 5 raised to the power 1 is 5 a raised to the power 1 is a 10 raised to the power 1 is 10 7 raised to the power 1 is 7 that is if you are not writing 1 in the index then it is always considered as 1 in the index now let us see practice set 26 question number 1 complete the table below now in this table you will see the blank boxes are given you have to fill that blank boxes using the uh, reading the information or the headings given in each row or the uh, column now here serial number indices that is number is written in index form here the base is you have to write the base in this column here you have to write the index here you have to write the multiplication form and at last you have to write the value of the given index number now first example here the number in index form is 3 raised to the power 4 now what is the base here the base is 3 the index is 4 here base is 3 index is 4 that is you are multiplying 3 4 times now what is the value of 3 raised to the power 4 multiply 3 4 times 3 3 is a 9 9 3 27 27 3 is a 81 now therefore value of 3 raised to the power 4 is 81 now example number 2 here 16 raised to the power 3 is given in this example children what is the base 16 is the base so you will write here 16 in this box now what is the index here 3 so you will write here 3 in this column now 16 raised to the power 3 it means 16 is multiplied 3 times now when you multiply 16 3 times what is the value you will get 4096 16 into 16 is 256 256 multiplied by 16 is 4096 so you will write 4096 in this box now example number 3 here in this example base and index are given you have to find the number in index form multiplication form and value of the given number now the base is negative 8 and the index is 2 so you will write it as negative 8 raised to the power 2 in index form now here index is 2 it means you are multiplying negative 8 two times so you will write it as negative 8 multiplied by negative 8 in multiplication form now what is the value here 64 here 8 eights are 64 negative into negative is positive hence the value of this number is 64 now example number 4 in this example multiplication form and the value is given you have to find number in index form base and index here 3 upon 7 is multiplied four times therefore index number will be 3 upon 7 will be taken as the base now we will put the bracket over it because we are taking the index of this complete number 3 upon 7 this index number belongs to the complete rational number that is 3 upon 7 so you have to put the bracket here like this if you are not putting the bracket this 4 or this index will belong only to the numerator it will not belong to the denominator so children you have to be vigilant while writing the index number of rational numbers you have to put the bracket over it now here what is the base 3 upon 7 and the index is 4 here the value is already given 81 upon 2401 now example number 5 here you have to find base index multiplication form as well as the value now what is the index number given here negative 13 raised to the power 4 now what is the base children here 
negative 13 and the index is 4. Now, here negative 13 raised to the power 4, it means you are multiplying negative 13 4 times. Multiply negative 13 4 times, the value you will get is 28,561. See children, here the negative number is multiplied 4 times, that is even number of times. Hence, the answer will always be positive. Here, negative number is multiplied even number of times. Hence, the product is always positive. Therefore, the answer is positive 28,561. Now, question number 2. Find the value. You have to find the value of 2 raised to the power 10. That is, 2 is multiplied 10 times. So, we will write it here as 2 to the 2 multiplied by 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 2 and multiplied by 2. Now, let us see the product. 2 to the 4, 4 to the 8, 8 to the 16, 16 to the 32, 32 to the 64, 64 to the 128, 128 multiplied by 2 is 256, 256 multiplied by 2 is 512 and 512 multiplied by 2 is 1024. Hence, value of 2 raised to the power 10 is 1024. Now, example number 2, 5 raised to the power 3, that is 5 is multiplied 3 times, 5 fives are 25, 25 fives are 125. Hence, the value of 5 raised to the power 3 is 125. Now, third example, negative 7 multi raised to the power 4, that is negative 7 multiplied 4 times. Now, as it is negative sign is multiplied 4 times, the answer will be positive. Now, let us multiply the number 7 7s are 49. 49 sevens are 343, 343 sevens are 2401. Now, example number 4, negative 6 raised to the power 3. Here, negative 6 is multiplied 3 times. That is, odd number of times you are multiplying the negative sign. Hence, the answer will be negative. Now, multiply the numbers. 6 6 are 36, 36 6 are 216. Now, example number 5, 9 raised to the power 3, that is 9 multiplied 3 times. 9 nines are 81, 81 nines are 729. Hence, 9 raised to the power 3 is 729. Now, example number 6, 8 raised to the power 1, that is 8 only. Because power 1, it means the number is taken only one time. Now, example number 7, 4 upon 5 raised to the power 3. That is, you are multiplying 4 upon 5 3 times. Multiply all the numerators in the numerator and denominators in the denominator. 4, 4s are 16, 16, 4s are 64. Hence, you will get 64 in the numerator and 5, 5s are 25, 25, 5s are 125. The denominator will be 125. Hence, answer of this example is 64 upon 125. Now, example number 7. Negative 1 upon 2 raised to the power 4. That is, you will multiply negative 1 upon 4, 2 4 times. Multiply all the 1s in the numerator, you will get 1. Multiply all the 2s in the denominator, you will get 16. As all the negative numbers are multiplied 4 times. The answer is positive. Hence, answer of this example is 1 upon 16. Children, here we have completed practice set 26. You have to complete your copies till here. Thank you.